before we leave you here at 11, back to that breaking news. We've been following that raging fire burning in a facility in South Sacramento. Let's get back out to CBS 13's Valina Jones with an update for us. Valina. Yeah, we do know that 200 firefighters are here on scene trying to battle this fire. I'll step out the way so you can take a look. Two of those firefighters we now know have been injured with some burns. The chief tells us that they are non-life threatening injuries, but said that two of his personnel have received burn injuries from this fire. Um, this is a massive fire at this point, five alarm fire, three different buildings are involved in this. We know that a body shop, a mattress factory, and a pallet storage facility are all involved in this. Since we've been on scene, we have heard some explosions. The fire chief tells us that those are vehicle tires and aerosol cans that are in some of these warehouses that are now exploding because of that fire. There's also a concern because there's propane tanks in the area that right now they are trying to keep cool at this time. We do know that embers have also been a problem as well. I can tell you that there's ash falling from the sky. As we speak, embers are making spot fires around the area that firefighters are also trying to get a hand on. So this is an evolving situation as they try to get a handle on this five alarm fire. They are taking a defense approach right now. Water has been an issue, so they are trying to get more water into this area. But until they do, they are going on the defense right now as they continue to fight this fire. Sending it back to you. All right, Valen, before we go, just a quick question. This is a pretty much an industrial area, right? There are no homes around this region, correct? Right there. I mean, where we are, we're at the intersection right now. And so there's homes on the other side of that intersection. But for the most part, this is an industrial area. There is some concerns that the fire would spread to other buildings as well. And so they're trying to get a handle on that. But no um, injuries aside from those two firefighters that received those burn injuries. Right. OK, we hopefully they will recover and they'll get this fire out. But of course, our morning show will have the latest on that because it'll say it'll burn for a while. Belinda, thank you.